You drive along the 408 westbound, you can't miss it. Thousands of people expected to pack Tinkerfield in downtown Orlando this weekend for the Electric Daisy Carnival. It features carnival rides and live music, but it has also drawn criticism in years past for reported drug use. Channel 9's Steve Barrett is live over the festival and Sky Witness 9 and Steve first responders are already taking steps to keep this concert safe. And this is a very, very full concert already. Let's take a look at what we're seeing from up here. It's amazing, just huge crowds of people. And that's just one stage that you're looking at here. Last year, the crowd estimate was about 80,000 people. The two-day event today and tomorrow features 60 different acts. But those kinds of crowds also come with problems each year. The setup has taken days to complete. Now, here comes the party. How about guys? It makes you feel at home. This is my second home. And it's beautiful. Everybody that I meet here is amazing. But with this many people comes a lot of intoxication, arrests, thefts, and medical problems. It's better they start putting more medical because there's people out here that just don't know how to act. Last year, medical treatment tents reduced the number of hospitalizations as those who were dehydrated or had minor injuries were taken care of right on site. One of the biggest issues in the crush of the crowd is dehydration. I got a fan. That's the way you do it. That's you gotta, what I do. You got to stay hydrated, though, right? I have a Camelback with Camelback plenty of water. In 2016, more than 70 people were transported to hospitals. Last year, that number dropped to about 25, mostly because of the tents manned with doctors and nurses. Orlando PD says all officers will be armed with the overdose treatment drug Narcan. A dedicated special police detail will monitor for risks. And private security firms provide things like explosive sniffing dogs. NOLA, for example, can smell explosives from 50 feet away away or more. Last year's most notable arrest was Jonathan Mora Gomez. Police say they arrested him with 26 stolen phones worth about $20,000. EDC regulars watch for those thieves. It is very easy because you get in your like really close and you don't understand if people are just going through or if we touch and they dancing. I think it's easy like for them like to get the phone. And look at that crowd. That's exactly what she was talking about down there as we look at it live. A huge crowd of people. This goes on today and tomorrow. Of course, we're going to be covering it all weekend, checking in with emergency responders to find out if there are any issues. Live from Skywitness, Steve Barrett, Channel 9 Eyewitness News.